everybody, my name is Sophie and welcome to my book nook. We're at the end of May now and I leave for BookCon tomorrow. When I put up this video, BookCon will have passed. I'm so excited. But nonetheless, we're at the end of May, so it's time for a wrap up. I read a total of five books this month and I read three of what I had planned to. Uh, three of those books were five stars and two of them I gave four stars so it was a pretty good month. I'm sure you're wondering what did I read and what did I think of it? Let's just get right into it. First thing I read was City of Orphans by Avi. This book takes place in the late 19th century. It's about Max and he is a newsie. He sells newspapers. His parents, he lives with his parents, his sisters, and his brothers, and you know, they're, they're doing their best to get by in the late 1800s. There's this big bad bully leader of a gang, his name is Bruno, and uh, he tries to beat up Max and take all of his money. And that is when Willa shows up. Willow protects Max and it kind of just goes from there. Max's sister Emma is falsely accused of stealing and Max and Willa have to prove that she didn't do it to get her out of jail and to prevent for her from being deported. It is, I thought it was, such a, it was a really sweet story. I ha haven't read a lot of historical fiction but I enjoy like historical fiction TV shows so I enjoyed this I feel like it was a little slow in spots but other than that it was pretty great I love the characters um, it was a sweet story it had a happy ending and I love happy ending I would definitely recommend City of Orphans by Avi eighth book in the Left Behind series The Mark this is by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B Jenkins I can't really say a lot without spoiling the other books but basically this one is about in Revelation and talks about how everybody's gonna get the mark of the beast and you need that to uh, to buy to sell and if you don't you're not gonna be able to buy and sell and if you refuse the mark you're gonna get killed so uh yeah that's what happened in this book I wanted to read the next book as well this month but my plans changed a little bit unless I loved this book just as much as I loved all the other books in the series and every book I read in it, I get closer to the end. Only have five more to go. Thank goodness, because I've been reading these for like a year and a half, I think. It's been a while. I've been working quite a while on these books. The next book I read is... The next book I read is You Owe Me a Murder by Eileen Cook. This book is about Kim. Kim and her boyfriend broke up. She was pretty upset. She read this girl, Nikki, on a plane. They talked, they bonded. Kim might have talked a little bit about kinda wanting to kill her ex. Nikki said, you know what? I could really use getting away with my getting my mom out of the picture. So why don't we just exchange murders? You know? Cause that's normal. Kim's like, eh nah nah, we just joking here, but then Kim's ex ends up dead. And Nikki comes back to collect. And that's all about what happens in this book. That's what happens after that. It's quite interesting. There were some twists. Uh, there was some, a lot of twists. It's a mystery. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I loved the characters. They were all fantastic, especially Alex. He's homeschooled, like, come on, I'm homeschooled. So I love any characters that are homeschooled. It was great. Um. I only gave it four stars because uh, I was expecting the twists to be bigger, so I was a little let down by that, but it was still a really good book and I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for a nice little mystery with some nice little twists and some nice characters. It was a, it was, it was fun to read. It was a fun read. Alright, now, the next two books I have been wanting to read for a while, I just haven't gotten around to it. I, I had heard so many good things about it. The reason why I chose to read them now is because, well here, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, the first book is um, 
Renegades by Marissa Mayer. Or Meyer. I am not sure. But anyway, I won a ticket to Snacks and Superheroes with Marissa Meyer at a book con. And I hadn't read any of her books. And they're, the, the event Snacks and Superheroes, it's mostly going to be about the Renegade series. So I need to read them. So I read Renegades. Okay, this is a huge book. The other one's huge too. It's like 550 pages. It's long. Alright, so this book is about, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, it's kind of post-apocalyptic, sort of. It's in the future. It's in an alternate future, basically. An alternate version of stuff. So there are, in this world, there are prodigies. People who have superpowers. Some of them are born with it. Some acquire them, usually through some sort of tragic event. Um, for the longest time, prodigies were like persecuted, basically, um, and hated, and all kinds of things. And so this guy, he had enough of it. His name is Ace Anarchy. So he started a rebellion. And his rebellion went okay for a little while, except then it other people started rebelling and just went into this long period called the Age of Anarchy, which is lawlessness and bad stuff. And from that came the Renegades, who came to stop all the anarchists and the villains and other gangs. This book takes place, I think, like about 10 years after the Age of Anarchy is over and the Renegades are in power. And our main character, Nova, she is a one of the last members of the anarchists and she's trying to take down the Renegades. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's really good. I love superheroes, guys. It's, it's, <laughs> It's fun. I love the characters. They're all awesome. The writing is fantastic. The plot is amazing. <sighs> I am so excited to get to meet the author. I'm so excited to get to meet, to meet Marissa Mayer. I also obviously read Arch Enemies, the second book. I gave both of these five stars because they're so good. I can't really talk about what happens in this book because it it would spoil the first book, but it's awesome. That's just the point. These books are both awesome, so you need to read them. Don't be like me and wait. The final book in the series, Supernova, comes out at the end of the year, and I can't wait. I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, I'll get an arc going to this event. At the very least, I think I'm gonna get a sampler, so it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so guys, I am in different clothes, I'm in a different place, and that is because, uh, well, I'm currently at a hotel for BookCon, um, and I didn't think I was going to finish Again But Better by Christine Rico before I left, but I did. So, gotta add that to my wrap-up. Um, I gave, oh, I haven't actually written the, uh, the Goodreads review yet, but I'm gonna give it three stars. I liked the story. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed the story part a lot. I didn't like the characters though. They, nope, just, just nope. <laughs> they all came off to me, the thing I kept like literally shouting about while I was reading it. Like they were just like cowards. Like, I mean, come on guys, take a little risk. Just once, seriously. That, that's, that's my biggest problem with the book. Other than that, I think I thought it was pretty good. A little uh, repetitive. Uh, a lot of people were saying it was repetitive. I can agree with that occasionally. But other than that, other than the characters just being, eh, I enjoyed the plot. Oh, and like the like, I saw somebody else talk about this. The like mystical part of it wasn't explained, and I agreed that was like. I would have enjoyed that. Like, why didn't you explain what was going on? That would have been cool. So, yeah, I feel like that could have been better in again, but better. <laughs> Bella just rolled her eyes at me, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. That, that's it, because I'm hungry, I gotta eat that. Right. So yeah, that's what I read in May. I think it was a pretty good reading month. In June, I'm taking part in the Biblio Games. You should watch my TBR. That's my May, my May wrap up. Hope you all enjoy it. Uh, 
if you read any of these books comment below what you thought if you agreed with me um if any of these books sound interesting and if you're going to read them also let me know in the comments if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed listening to me talk about books please subscribe to my channel because this is what i do and i think that is it so i will see you guys really soon